I'll run the camera. You <laughs> How long does the camera run? Yeah, it takes a while for you, but <laughs> welcome back, everybody. I'm gonna be up. taking my uh, yeah. You gotta watch what you say now, Grandpa. I will. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking my grandpa up to the uh, shanty, sit overlooking the Nebraska food plot in the corn tonight, and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get him a nice big buck. There's. Uh, there's actually a nice eight point that was out here in the middle of the day today. I was uh, came back from work and looked up there, and 11 o'clock in the morning, there's this big buck out there just eating. So I think Grandpa might be in business if he. I he, hope he didn't get too full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's uh, another. There's actually two other really nice bucks that are still alive up in that woods, Goofy and Oldie, and uh, it'd be awesome if one of them stepped out and. Grandpa's ready to. So, either way, we're gonna stay warm and we're gonna see deer. I bet. Hopefully, you didn't dress too warm, Grandpa. I have a heater in there. Yeah, you'll have trouble getting me too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's used to freezing his ass off He's in the used snow. To a hot, too hot uh, wood stove at home, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's gonna be uh, letting the old six-five Creedmoor rip if we can. If we can line it up with a nice buck tonight, we'll see. We'll see you up there. Okay, everybody, Grandpa and I are all set up here, and there is a ton of deer tracks down there in the corn in Nebraska. You can see where they've been really tearing at the Nebraska down there, and been in the corn pretty heavy. I did check, check the uh, Cuddy Link system and Oldie and Goofy have been out in here just about every night. So uh, they are getting pretty darn close to coming out during daylight. So maybe tonight will be the night. We'll see. Right down there is where Dad took out the Bully 8. Right in the back corner there. So we'll stick tight and see what happens tonight. We're staying warm. What gun do you have there, Grandpa? Model 94 Winchester. That was made in, I bought that for your dad 25 years ago. He wanted one. Has that it was, killed any deer? I don't think it's killed a chickadee. <laughs> <laughs> but it's accurate. It, it's a good shooting rifle. Yep. Made in 1961 when they were still Making well them. made. That's yep. that for a peep sight. It actually has a little tiny stud. If you still wanted to, you could put a saddle ring in it right here. That right there, all that is is a threaded stop. You take that out, the ring goes right there. The peep sight goes right there. Oh, yeah. Boy, it's nice and polished. Yeah, it's in good shape. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, I spent 34 years or well, more than that counting welches going down over the hill. And it's an amazing thing. But there's big bucks down there. Just horrendous. If they survive Route 520 and the thruway, and most of them die of old age. Yep. Yeah, they don't get the winters down there that we uh, do. They up. got better feed, too. Yep. And the winters are lighter. One of the coolest things about that big, huge buck that you killed is the grapevine marks on the antlers where Peden. he was yep. in the grapevines. And yeah. the... A guy from down there was looking at it. He said, you know what those are? I said, no, I don't have a clue. He said he was pushing against the vines when his rack was real soft. In velvet. Yep. Yeah, that's really cool. You can see that. Boy, I bet a lot of people were hunting that buck if they... My a friend of mine that lives right beside my sister-in-law, he helped me get it in the truck. If I didn't know he was coming, I'd have waited because I just got it pulled up the ravine by setting out on my butt and pulling about six inches and set pull. <laughs> you, know, you ain't gonna drag one up that ravine. No. <laughs> So didn't, I, didn't she drag it like a hundred and some yards before you remember to gut it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's called buck fever, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I couldn't believe how hard he was to see. And 
when I got over there, he was in back of a bunch of wild grapevines. It looked like lace curtains. And yeah. I had about six, six or eight feet to get to a sapling for a rest. And I, I looked back at him, he was just froze. I thought, man, if I take a step, he's going to leave. Yeah. So I shot off him. You made a hell of a shot, didn't you? It was over 100. And... Yeah. Between 90 and 100, maybe. It was a heavy deer, 176. God, yeah, it was. Jesus. That's a huge deer. Older, probably. Oh, yeah. There was two doe laying there with him. I never seen him until I squeezed that slug off and they jumped up. Where'd the slug hit him? Right through the heart. Did it really? Yeah. <laughs> he, he was laying down looking at me and I, I put the rifle, the shotgun in them days, I put it right on, I thought right on the top of his head and I just moved it to the left a little bit and squeezed one off. And that's where his shoulder and heart was. Well, by God, your equation, your equation was right on the money. <laughs> I had a lot of help that day. <laughs> but the funny part was, Jim Jameson's the guy that come over and helped me. And we got the buck of the truck, and I had cookies and coffee and all kinds of stuff, but I knew I was done, so I give him all my goodies. And he says, there's nothing wrong with this buck you killed, but he said, there's one in here bigger. I never said a word, but I'd seen him a day before. Did you? Bigger yeah. than the one you shot? Oh, just a monster. Nothing but just, just horns. Oh, my and, gosh. And he, he jumped up in front of Jack. Jack never saw him. I didn't say nothing. About halfway between here and that tree. Are you kidding Jack me? Jack had a hat on just like that, and I was watching him come. I, he got right there, so I racked that 97. The shell fell on the ground. I started to reach it. This thing caught my eye, and I turned, and there he was, running up the vineyard. No. And the funny part is, Sammy, my nephew, had shot a doe in there on a permit that morning. Dragged it right across that and put it in the, my truck. But I didn't tell Jack, and I didn't tell the guy that helped me the deer, because I don't know why. You can almost tell too many stories, and pretty soon <laughs> they look at you cross <laughs> I schooled you guys from a very young age that whatever you do in the woods, tell the truth. Yep, you're right. You get caught BSing somebody, you, they, nobody believes you again. You're right. I'll tell you, it's hard to it's hard to do much BSing nowadays when you got when I got 16 cameras with me. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, pretty much what I say is pretty spot on anymore. I don't know how many deer Belisky killed a 28 inch full choke model 12 Winchester. Boy, he killed a lot of stuff with that Model 12. Isn't that all he took with him? Yeah. He had a 338 Model 7800 in PA when he got a nice buck over there on French Creek. But then we was hunting one time. I'd seen this buck hunting pheasants over there. So I'm almost to the edge. And there's a just a bunch of shoeback and some poplars where an old barn and house had tipped over. And he's running over there, and I, I thought there can't be no pheasants in there. And a huge buck jumped up out of there, run down into the woods. Well, it was state land. And Jim and I was over there hunting and hunting, and I don't think anybody seen him or got him. I watched the Sunday paper, and, but we was in there one day. <laughs> Jim was the kind of guy every now and then had to shoot. Here come that stupid red school. He picked a 338 up. Snow fell out of the trees for 10 minutes, but he missed it. You missed the red squirrel. Nothing so big was ever shot at something so small. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my God, I bet that woke up the woods. Oh. <laughs> One other time, he always carried a Model 28 357. We was waiting for my brother to bring the car up. And this little deer mouse stuck his head out of the leaves. And every time Jim would shoot, the mouse would fly up in the air. <laughs> my dad was with us. After we got home, dad says I was pulling for the mouse. 
Oh my God. That's what starts going on when you don't see many deer. Yeah, that's like you on opening day of trout season. When oh, you. <laughs> that was awful. You picked I up was that. So cold. And that line was just. I never caught a trout. I didn't know how they worked. So I'd go to set the hook. There wouldn't be nothing on it. The worm was all laid out. And now I'm froze. So I real slow reeled it up. The biggest crab I ever seen was wrapped around it. I swung him up and right to the barrel of my 22, blew him, hook, horn, everything. Worm <laughs> went home and I haven't hunted their fish trout since. <laughs> <laughs> oh man those trout were probably eating the pieces of the crab that blew back into the creek <laughs> well I seen them trout in the fall that creek wasn't six feet wide and some of them trout were 18 20 inches long they were all over the ripples probably spawning I didn't know what well, was it a spring natural spring stream or what yeah, yeah it was it's Black Brook. It runs out of PA into New York and feeds into French Creek. It's a big doe. It's way in that corner over there. Yeah. I'm glad it's a big doe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That means they're starting to move around. I hate to squeeze one off and see Ralph keel over his shit <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's a good sign though, it means they're up on their feet. Well, I'll have to admit, this is the most comfortable stand I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> Usually by now I'd be shaking like a dog oh, sitting on a briar. Yeah. Here comes, here, here comes a deer, Grandpa. Right through the woods there. It's a doe. See it right there on the edge? Just to the left of the corn? Yep. Oh, here comes another oh, there one. there it is. Yeah, I got it now. There's another doe behind it. What's that thing? Lights in the corn. There's somebody in that corn with a... Oh, it's a reflection off the... Oh. Too, too I thought I would lose it by a barber. <laughs> doe standing there. Too big doe out there. That's a start. Yeah, that bag of goodies you sent Grandma, she was like a kid with a new toy. Here comes a buck, Grandpa. It's a small one, but there's a buck coming. Oh, here comes another one over there. Geez, they're really coming out now. What's that one over there? That one, I gotta check it out. <laughs> Must have heard me stop. Oh, there he comes. That's a buck, too. There's two bucks that came out. That's a little spike, and then there's a six point that's out over here now. That's a good sign. See that buck just came out over here with them two doe. That's, that's that other spike that just walked out over there. Can you see him good? Mm -hmm. Is that the adjustment? This right here. Back and forth? Yep. Yep. another doe just stepped out. Another doe. Oh, 
there's one coming down that trail in the corner. See it in the woods? Mm -hmm. Way out there. Two of them. One just come out behind the other one. Oh, yeah. Here comes another one out over here, Grandpa. Yeah, big ones coming in little ones are all running back. And... That's another doe that's coming out of the woods. Boy, there's a hell of a lot of deer out there. Did already. he ever come out to two come out yet? Yep. Yep, they're right in the edge right now. Oh, there's more coming out over there behind the edge of the corn. Another doe. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve deer out there now. Those two bucks are fighting. Yep. still pretty darn early yet too. We still got quite a while. Well, you don't give a shit about that standing corn. Is that a food plot where them two are fighting? Yep. Yeah, they like that brassica. That's what they're, they're really eating that more than the corn. What's the one way back by the woods? Is that a doll? Okay. Here comes another deer out of the back, Grandpa. Right under that tree stand. And 
another doe. There comes, there comes some out of the woods. There's a little buck that just ran out, a little spike. And there's some behind it. Now there's a bunch coming out. There's a big buck, Grandpa. Big buck coming out. Get comfortable. Do you want me to move that chair up here, Grandpa? So you can sit down and shoot. Which one is he? He's just coming out of the, he just came out of the woods, Grandpa. Standing still? No, he's to the right, Grandpa. Right there. Up. Oh, way back. Yeah, I see him. He's got a nice rack on him. He's not looking. He's sideways to us now. He's down. His head's down. He's, he's eating right now. See, there's one in front of him to the right. Mm -hmm. he's, he's right behind the one that's walking in front of him. Let me get on him with a camera. Can you see him good, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right in your way. Yeah, let that one get out of his way. I think you hit him. You got him! You got him! <laughs> Grandpa! You got a heck of a buck! Let me see what time it is. 4.43, Grandpa. Smoked a good one at 4.43. <laughs> yeah. What do you think for this, right? <laughs> Grandpa, that's a heck of a buck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you smoked him. I wasn't even- I'm beginning to think that other one wasn't gonna get out of the way. I, <laughs> I was about I... to ask you if a slug would go through one and hit <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wasn't even ready for you to shoot with one bow! <laughs> well, when the time comes, you tickle the trigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, give me some skin, Grandpa. Oh my gosh. Well, Grandma's got more liver coming. <laughs> yes, she does. You smoked him. He went down right on the edge of the food plot. Heck of a shot. What is that, a couple hundred? Yeah, he was a hundred and... Whatever. 80 yards, I bet. Just under 200. What a shot. <laughs> lucky. I don't know if it was lucky. I think you're a season. You just turn the gas off, Cliff? Yep. I did two first. 
That's the first time I shot a deer from a tree stand. It's the first time I killed one with a scope. No way! Yeah, Is it really? I've never used a scope. Well, what do you think? <laughs> what do you want for that, right? <laughs> you can use it whenever you want, Grandpa. Oh, I'm just kidding. You made a hell of a shot. You must have put it right I through. I did what you said. I just put it on his shoulder. Most of the bread basket stuff is just above that front leg. Yep. You smoked him. Boy, they really like that brassica, don't they? I wonder why he threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is what's getting all these deer killed, Grandpa. Yeah, there's a lot of deer tracks in it. Well, he ran right in there somewhere. There he is. Nice rack on him, Grandpa. Look at that sucker. Look at the body on that thing. He's got a bigger body than the one I shot. Heck of a nice buck. Good tine length on him, man. Awesome buck, Grandpa. Hold that sucker up. Yeah, he just broke off that G3 on that side. Right there. Chunk it. That's from where he hit the tree. Yeah. I think. Oh, here it is. Right there. Heck of a nice buck. Is that an eight? Yep, that's an eight point. He was a fighter though. He just, looks like he just broke that off. That's the 14th one of my lifetime. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> awesome, Grandpa. I had somebody hit that got away from me. Can't count them. Well, he won't bother your food plot anymore. <laughs> no, that darn thing was eating too much anyways, Grandpa. <laughs> Time to get rid of him. That was something. You made a heck of a shot. I wasn't even ready for you to shoot. I was. <laughs> when that deer moved away, I thought it was time to shoot. By God, you did, and you made a heck of a shot on him. I'll t I wonder. I think he's going the other way, Cliff. Do you Look at how old he is. Yeah, you're right. He is old. Yeah. What are the odds he broke that off hitting this tree over here? He hammered that tree, Grandpa. Sure. I don't, I'll have to watch the video to see, because I, he still had, him run in here. oh God, he hit, he hit this tree like you wouldn't believe right here. I mean, it stopped him. Look at the, look at the marks on the tree that he, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll bet he did break it right here. Yeah, when the snow goes. Right yeah, we'll have it. to come back and find it. I mean, he hit that tree like a Mack truck. <laughs> I was I was following him with a video camera all of a sudden. You probably began to think I wasn't going to shoot. Yeah. I was following him with a video camera and all of a sudden he stopped. <laughs> you got a good sharp knife, Grandpa? I'll get him gutted for you. Used to be. <laughs> Heck of a buck, Grandpa. <laughs> My lucky day. Heck yeah, it is. Yep. How you doing, Sonny? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he broke that cliff. Look at it. Yeah, it's fresh, isn't it? Yeah. You've seen the wreck. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go find that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. What's it got away? Two, three. All right. I bet you he's going to be 145. Get right, get right behind him, John. John, yeah, swing around right there. There you go. There you go. 
Okay. Actually, I've hauled these horns in. It would be wider normally. <laughs> Can you, you got a red tongue. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tip him down just a little bit, John. We're gonna win. Yeah. Here we go. Turn it a little bit to my left. One. He did it for me. Two. Me okay. Three. Here, look here. One, two, three. Very good. Awesome. Don't rub them anymore, buddy. <laughs> What's our, what's the guess, the weight here? I'm saying 137. 137? Uh, I'm going to say 145. How you doing? Hey, good. Congratulations. I, I think he's got a bigger body on him than, do you want to uh, slice that right there, Grandpa? Oh. Uh, do you want to hold the camera? Yeah, Not that yeah. I don't trust you, Dad, but. I know you don't. <laughs> Kaylee's a little more seasoned. I know she is. John, what's your guess? Her weight? Yep. yep. 140. I'm going to say 145. You know what did that? What? These are buckskin gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Better hold oh. this. I don't want to break off another one. Oh. He broke a tine? Yeah, he freaking ran into a tree like a... I think Cliff's got it on stage. Yeah. Oh, he did it right in front of you? Yeah, I think he did. I've never seen a deer hit a tree that hard in my life. Oh, jeez. He was running full bar, smack dab into a tree. Oh, we got it on, uh, we got to put it on pounds. Okay, lift her up. Okay, my guess is 140. What's yours, Grandpa? Or 145, I guess. Yeah, your oh, grandpa 140. said 140. 140. I'm 137. I'm gonna go 130. Oh, so you tied me in where I can't be low. You can't be over. If you're over, you're out. I think I got all you guys. I don't know. He's up. Okay, he's off. 137. 31. Is that a 1 or a 7? I can't tell the lights. That's a 1. 131. 131.6. Round up 132. That will be damn. 132. I was 5 off. That's what my buck That's what my buck weighed. Where did I hit him, Cliff? Right here. Yeah, he right behind the shoulder. That was the any right here. And then the Audi right here. Or right here. Uh, I don't think that's... No, good. you had to put it through the shoulder because it was... I don't know. Oh. He must have been standing more at an angle than I thought. No matter. Yeah. You killed him. That's that's what matters. <laughs> How far did well, he, he go? Shot him, right? you didn't have Look to at the neck. I shot six times. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the neck on that thing. He's yeah, He's yeah. all... Puffed up and yeah, he's an older buck. Yeah, he, I think that rack's going the other way. He uh, yeah, it's it's heck of a nice buck. You can't beat that. Then that was your first time in the shanty. Yeah. First time with a scope. Now you probably think Jesus. I'm that seems pretty easy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> grandpa, yeah. Grandpa was sitting in there. He's like, man, I'm warm. I'm, warm. Yeah. I'm comfortable. And I'm seeing more deer than I see usually standing in a tree. This is all pretty... year. Yeah. yeah, seven was the best I did opening okay. day of PA. I think Grandpa has uh, returned you to the dark side. Yeah, <laughs> the right side is what that's called. Well, I'll back my truck down here. Yeah, I'll get it for you. I'm gonna move this out and I'll back your truck up there. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. That was absolutely awesome to get my grandfather up there in the uh, shanty. He's uh. Somebody that hasn't hunted like that his whole life, he would, uh, a lot of the type of hunting he does is just uh, kind of spot and stock type hunting, slowly walking through uh, woods. He hunts a lot of state game lands. Uh, he does it sort of old school, kind of 
the way I would look at it. I know it's not old school to a lot of people, but uh, that's just kind of the way he hunted, and he hasn't had a lot of, had uh, a lot of opportunities to uh, see deer this year and uh, get opportunities at nice deer. So uh, I was trying to uh, get him up in the shanty with me and and uh, have him experience something uh, hunting brassica food plot during the late season. Uh, and I think he enjoyed it. We saw, we ended up seeing like 17 or 18 deer, uh, I think four or five bucks at the end when he finally shot the buck that he shot. And uh, it was absolutely awesome. We uh, just sat in the shanty and uh, he told hunting stories the whole time. And uh, it's truly gonna be a lifelong memory for me. Uh, he got me into hunting a lot when I was little. I uh, used to, uh, trudge around with him when I was just a tiny little crap and snow that was up to my chest uh, You know it was uh, It's really pretty cool to be able to take him up there and and uh, Be with him when he shot a nice buck like that and uh, he made an awesome shot on it. The shot was like 180 yards I would bet and uh, I wasn't actually ready for him to shoot yet, but he was ready and shot and the deer uh, tore off across a food plot and waylaid a tree, smoked a tree, and I actually think it broke a tine off when it hit the tree. I'm going to have to go back up there and look for that tine uh, if it did break it off. I don't know if it did. I'll have to watch this video and see if you had it uh, prior to coming out. But I'm going to end this video with uh, a bunch of footage of this buck on the trail camera. It's a deer that's been up here pretty much all season, and uh, that's going to that's going to do it. And if you guys want any shirts or hats, just email KayleeSheldon10 at gmail.com if you're thinking about any uh, KEO gear for Christmas gifts. Babe. She's the one that will contact you and email you and get you hooked up with all your uh, shirts and hats. So this year has been just a whirlwind this hunting season. Uh, you know, all that work and everything has, has paid off twofold. It's, it's really been... I, I couldn't be any more thankful for the opportunities that uh, my family and I have had to harvest the deer that we've been able to harvest. So, uh, thanks for watching. More to come soon. Take it easy, everybody.